Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the Thursday episode. <laughs> I decided I would give this a try, uh, SCP Containment Breach. I've actually played SCP Containment Breach a lot on my own, and uh, I don't know, I've seen people asking me to play it on the channel, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, if this works out, I may end up live streaming it at some point, but in the meantime, let's try and give this a go. Map Seed Crunch. Well, that's an odd choice. I did not type that in beforehand. The only thing I've done is, hold on, I don't want to let you, the only way to backspace is to completely backspace. We'll go with Sumerian, we'll go with save, we'll leave the intro on just for fun, and I guess we're going with the Map Seed Capital Crunch if you want to play along with me. So, all right, let's get started. Pick up the paper on the desk. This runs a little smoother than I remember it running. I can't remember if I've tried to play it on this computer before, though. You also may be able to tell that my microphone's a little bit further away, just so I can access my computer. It's a weird noise. I have the SCP Foundation or staff. Okay, what? Oh, that was fast. Open up cell I wonder how that decides how long it takes for them to come and get you. Because I've had to wait in here for a really long time before. For you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Sure. I'll just oh, there's another guy over there. Oh, there's nowhere you can stand. Or something? I said step out of the cell. All right. Don't step out of the cell. I'm gonna kick your ass. Let's see what happens if I don't. Oh, you have got to be the dumbest test subject we've ever had. Oh well, shut the doors and open the gas valve. <laughs> really? They murder you. Okay. Well, you said you were gonna kick my ass. You didn't say you were just gonna gas me to death. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, all right. Well, we'll try again. New game. We'll put the. Sumerian Toast Crunch. All right. Oh, that's got to be the title of the episode, right? See, this thing sticks to the old uh, D class are incredibly uh, dis <laughs> expendable. Like, that's the weirdest thing. Like, Death Row inmates are expendable. Okay. No, they're really not, since they're super rare. <laughs> no. Finding them the kind of. Uh, to be honest with you, finding a Death Row inmate that's mentally stable enough to do work for you is sort of a big deal. Like, oh yeah, it's just a normal guy who managed to kill somebody and end up on death row instead of a guy with severe mental pro you know, a severe mental illness or something like that. Which is most. I'd be surprised how often the jail system is used to just deal with the... Uh... See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, last time around they were instantly there, and now they're not. But yeah, the, the, how often the criminal justice system is used to dispose of people they don't, uh, that the society can't deal with because we don't have a good mental health system in America. What the hell? Okay, they're finally here. Control, this is Agent Aldrin. I need a request to open up cell 311. There's no ventilation in here, actually. How do they get the gas back out? Hey, they've got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Just right. follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Um, uh, of course I would never do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna just step back in here. Hey, buddy. Hurry up. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for me? Are they, though? Are they? Attention. Maintenance. It's Vulgan! Echo. Please report to <laughs> maintenance tunnel checkpoint. I hear Vulcan. Uh, That's so definitely Vulcan. Movies lately? Uh, oh man. I mostly just read books. Yeah. What kind of books? Uh, horror, science fiction, anything like that. <laughs> You're kidding me. What? Your whole job revolves around horror and science fiction. Except, you know, it's not actually fiction. <laughs> well, actually, I'm planning on writing a book about that. Yeah, look, no offense, but I've already lost it. I'm writing a book about... I don't know where I'm going to pay attention to that. Well, we're here. Just get in there and follow all the instructions, and uh, you'll probably be fine. Follow all the instructions? Oh, by the way. 
Mm, we'll probably be fine. SCP-173. Origin is of, as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with cr traces of Krylon brand spray paint. I wonder how long I'm going to let you stay. I'm just, am I just going to spend this entire time like testing the limits of this system? What happens if I just stay in here with you? I mean, maybe I need to take some time to study this document. You don't know. I assume he'll shoot me eventually, or he, or nothing will happen. Maybe they didn't code for that. Let's take a look over here. Everything looks good to me. You know, it would be int more. You know, what would be fun actually. As as much fun as the old uh, <laughs> the site is undergoing a giant containment breach and everybody is gonna die <laughs> is. You could use this exact same setting to create like a, you know, day in the life of a doctor sort of thing. That'd be a fun game. Maybe a little shorter, maybe a little longer. Maybe you could do, ooh, ooh, you could build a game based around the, what happens to lead up to the containment breach. Like the day before, the day of, you know? All the way up to the point where the containment breach happens. That'd be fun. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> I don't want to go in there. He's, he had too much Taco Bell. Oh, man. Yeah, see? Attention all Class D personnel. Please enter the containment chamber. I'll just I'll go ahead and head, and head on in. That guy's... <laughs> Look Please at these guys. SCP-173 for testing. Hey. Scared uh, cat. There seems to be a problem with this door control the chambers system. Now. The door is so responding to us. You are to close it. Yeah. So please maintain I'll direct eye contact with SCP-173. And... What's happening? I don't know, but he can't shoot me from underneath the door. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Ha! Take that, bitches! Oh wow, that is incredibly loud for me. All right, well, I have to hope that it. I mean, I can. F there we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. So look, the thing is, is that like, I can fix the volume in post, but I can't. Uh, I can't personally hear my own voice loud, so I don't know what like how loud I need to be. Let's see, if I walk over here, does this? No, it doesn't seem to affect it. Not anything more than normal. You know, it's, uh, yep, normal. Alright. Let's... How oh, could there are people down there? They'll help. Hey, guys! I'm... I don't know what's going... Oh, no! What's going on? It seems to be terrible things. Where did all the people go? How come those things are halfway in the floor? Man, I'm so dead. That's the fun thing about this. You're already dead. That door never works. It'd be funny if it did. Like, you just go through this game one time and then suddenly... Because the, the entire thing is procedurally generated, but... This introductory area is always the same. <coughs> well, except for some, you know, basics, but... Uh, funny if one time you, you were like oh that door never works and then like that's the only way out or like, <laughs> like you open it and you're like okay well you managed to get to one of the safe rooms and thus the game actually begins all right i forget what button it is. is it f5 yes f5 all right well uh let's read some stuff on the you get one in here Admins to authorized personnel only. Report all potential anomalies, including deer. Don't forget, today is pizza day. Yay, pizza day. Last time I, the first time I loaded this up, uh, just to test things out and see how the recording would work, uh, he was like, is it pizza day? And he's like, no, it's not pizza day. It's tuna casserole day. <laughs> okay, well. Oh well, yeah, that's right above the guard. Does that, that must have happened. Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh probably eventually activate the old man somehow. We saved the game, so wait—is this? 
Shit, is this SCP? Oh, oh, eight already? No. What's in here? Other than a dead dude. Alright. Well, I'm way overdue for my first encounter with. Yeah, we're not doing that. No. No, thank you. Yeah. Okay, old AI. Is it 081? I think uh, in one of my meme videos, I saw it and I like cut it out because I wasn't sure and I didn't bother to look it up, and there's another fucking hallway. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. Fuck you! Alright, well. I guess I gotta go somewhere. It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. That's part of the game. That's what makes it fun. Way out is the southeast way. Follow me. Crack. Wait a minute. Now well, let's see here. I believe our statue friend is down there, so we should be all right. All right. What do we pick up here? A level one key card, I guess. Uh, Okay. I don't actually know what was in those boxes, but I guess it's alright. Battery, battery. This is the supplies. Well. Oh no! Someone has died! Ah! One of the good things about any horror game is the ambiance. Like, if you really... I just had to turn around and take a look. You know, since it's just stop me. See? Oh no, the plague doctors found somebody. I am the cure. Well, this is... This is intolerable. I'm not doing the good uh, voice right now. <coughs> I got a bit of a had a bit of a cough for a couple of days, actually. By the way, this is going in mostly unedited, so you may hear me take a drink of water or whatever. <laughs> Unless the old man killed somebody else. Until you act. See, that's one of the things. Of, oh, I don't know if that's true anymore. I I did a little digging into the way this game works way back when, and I really think I actually need to go down there. Could be wrong. Pretty sure that our little statue friend is down here, though. Eh, you know what? We'll just load it if we have to. He is down here. A simple way to do this would actually be to, yeah, just let's lure him out here. Let's wait till I, we blink. Let's lure him out here. And then... Close that door. I don't know what that was. A wallet. Give me a wallet. Reminds me, of, I don't know why. <laughs> was impersonating the guy from. Uh... It really was it? What's in his wallet? Oh, okay. Money, I get. <laughs> Who puts co puts coins in their wallet? That's a weird thing. Oh, eh, that is useful. So now that's. Well, now all we need is a clipboard. Alright. Is he still up here? Probably the hell? Yeah, I don't know how this game works anymore, but twas a time. God damn it, where was he? Anyway, there was a time when the old man was only activated if you walked into a certain room and watched a guy fall from the ceiling. I think you, you, if, you've, if you've watched any of these before, you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright, we saved it before we went in there for a reason. Oh, we didn't save it when we got the guy up here. 
Come on, I know you're in here. There you go. Let's just give him his give him his free you know his freedom here. We'll go down here and get this wallet. Collateral. That's the movie that that's from. <laughs> give me a wallet. Can't you tell my hands are? And there's nothing else down here. We'll just save this again. Unless we've trapped ourselves, which is entirely possible. That's the fun th part about the quick save in this game. I think you I think you only get one slot. And, and it's entirely possible to get yourself killed. Now, we're going to go ahead. Alright. I'll see you later, buddy. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I saw saw that coming. You stop that right now. <laughs> Fucking old AI. I said stop it. Yeah, well, I'll do it this way if I have to. Probably open that fucking door again. Let me just blink real quick here. Yeah, I think you did, but it doesn't matter, cause I'm gone. <clears throat> cause I'm already gone. Alright. Well, okay then. Stupid piece of shit. <coughs> mm. All right, well, let's uh, keep on keeping on. Always close the doors behind you, just in case. Probably should save your game before you walk into a new room. I think that's happened to me before. Uh, I think we're getting closer and closer to one of those rooms where the old man gets activated. Right, well, let's give it a try. All these damn level 3 doors. 1162. I can't remember 1162 for the life of me. Still not good enough. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's easy for you to... Uh, wait a second. This feels new, or if not new, at least something I'm not recognizing. Let's take a look at this door here and close it. If we're going to be doing things, I don't want something coming into that door. Problem is, is that door control is still active with the old AI. Let's see if this works here. It does. All right, time to find out what's in this door. It's fucking this guy again. I think there's a level two key card on the table here. I'm like halfway sure that's a clipboard I just picked up. <clears throat> Yay, level two. No, that's a navigator, which I think is useful if you can get into what's his face's place. I don't think I need a level, the level one at all now, but we'll keep it just so we have an extra card. All right, so there was a level two door back this ways. It's best not to have to backtrack too far if you don't have to, which I'm gonna be going backtracking a lot. But if I'm this close to a level two door anyway. What in the hell is this thing? Why is the... Mm. Could be dangerous. Let's grab the paperwork. Go back out to our semi-safe hallway. 
Oh, 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 I know this. Oh, this is the one where you, yeah, it's a hole, it's a hole in the cinder block, yeah. So I believe you can throw anything into it, yeah. Portion is currently visible through the hole, however, no lights has been able to eliminate his activated sentient being reaches into the hole to the depth that the girth of their arm allows, at which point <coughs> <coughs> their fingers touch a solid surface similar in feel to the current location, and they discover an item small enough to fit through the hole below their fingertips. Universal veneration is something the user has lost or was searching for at some point during their life. However, upon retrieval of items, another item will vanish from the person of the subject. Yes, there we go. Alright, so a useful way to handle this is to drop everything of value this is in my experience with this thing anyway and then we can pick those up later but for now What did we get? We oh, I think we switched up. Useless. O seven nine documentation. All this document. When did I get? It says it's something I've lost. Is it only going to give me other documentation in exchange for documentation? Is that how this works? Movie ticket. Well, at least that seems like something. Yeah, I remember this movie. Electronic components, that's something too. Ah. Mm hmm. Okay. Things yeah, are starting to change a little bit. Oh, playing card is shit, but I'm. You know what? If we get that credit card back, let's leave it on the ground. Let's pick all this stuff back up. Just in the off chance that it'll, uh, what's <coughs> the word despawn and drop it all again. I don't know if there's a, what the despawn mechanics in this game are, but I don't want to risk losing my level 2 key card just so I can get a credit card out of it. I don't think this can give me anything useful, to be honest with you. I mean, there's one, only one way to find out the extent of what it can do. Yeah, it took my heart. I got my heart. Oh. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna die. Oh, did it take my lung, maybe? I don't know. Dank. Yo. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a thing that happened. I definitely die. I don't know if this is because it took my lungs or if <laughs> it's because I smoked that 420-J. You know what? Oh, it gave me... Oh. Eh, you know what? Let's just keep doing it. I, I'm dying for sure right now. Oh god, yep. Electronic <laughs> I am definitely dead. Wait, maybe not. Can I pick up a key? I guess I lost my wallet. You're feeling faint from the amount of blood you have lost. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Fine. You know what? Fine. I'll die then. <laughs> I guess I'll die. Uh, you know, that, that's one of the few things about this game that, I mean, and I get it because it's like, what's happening to me? I don't know. But there's one of the few th really negative things I've found about this game has always been that, uh, it takes forever to die sometimes. Am I like unable to touch the door? I guess I'm not dying. 
Let's just keep doing this until I die. Let's see what else I can pull out of my chest. Surprise! It would be funny if I... There we go. Whatever it was, I'm dead. I have died. There's no... Oh, okay. Huh. There's no, like, how did I die sort of thing. It's just... Alright, let's go get our stuff off the ground here. Doesn't appear to be useful in any kind of serious way. I need a clipboard. I don't want to have to give up all my... I want to give up all my shit. You know what I mean? At least now I can talk and know what volume I'm actually at. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there was any other level 2s behind me, but I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. We'll find out. At some point, we gotta activate the old man. We gotta walk into the uh, little intersection rooms and have the dude fall down. Uh, I don't think this is gonna... This, it feels like this is gonna lead me to... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead again. Fuck off, bear. At least if we try and find out what... Yeah, it's becoming difficult to breathe because there's a bunch of ears in my... Ch uh, whatever. Yeah, there's a bunch of ears in my lungs I just uh, grew because of this stupid fucking teddy bear. Definitely covered in ears. Uh, <clears throat> suffocated to death by the ears. Such a strange sentence. <laughs> Body sent for autopsy. Well... So, does that mean I shouldn't go this way? I mean, is he still is he still going to be in here? Is he in here every time? Do I need to wait? Can I run by him and not have this problem? Well, no, he's still there. Oh, I guess it didn't help. Am I still growing ears everywhere? Ah, my bucking ears. Yeah, I'm on borrowed time anyway. Pretty sure anyway. Maybe I avoided it. Hey, there's a dead guy in here. This elevator appears to be broken. I feel like I should save, but I'm like, am I dead already? Did the ears get me? <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> am I growing ears in my lungs? I can't tell. It doesn't give me a... You know what? Fuck it. We can always start over. That's the activation for the old man. So that happened. That's great. That means the old man now knows I'm here. Achievement unlocked the architect. What does that mean? <clears throat> this is to the heavy containment zone. Which is somehow closer to the surface, which I, I think someone once gave me like an explanation as to why that could possibly make sense. I don't remember what their argument was. Well, that can't be good. Elevator appears to be broken. Okay. Well, we definitely got the old man after us at this point. So really, it's just a matter of, I think this is a level one keycard situation, but, nope, three, okay. Let's see what other creative ways we can, nope, three again. Fucking A. So much backtracking if I want to check in these rooms. That's the really annoying part. Alright, this elevator's bound to work. Yes, indeedy. Let's see what happens next. <clears throat> Show yourself. That's not... Oh, it's that one. Uh, well, this is usually where I die the first time. If This isn't wouldn't be the first time, actually. I will have died more than twice now. So, let's see here. Hello? Oh, there it is. There we go. All right. Should probably avoid any quick saves from here on out. Yep, he's got me. Hey, calm down, buddy. Calm down. 
It's all gonna be okay. Oh my god. Who is it? Okay, so he's heading this way, which means he's probably making... He's probably getting... I can't see where the goddamn in here, but I'm assuming he's... I don't know which one. Oh, he spotted me again. <laughs> I just like the idea that somebody else would probably be like, Oh my god! Ah! And I'm just like, yep, he got me. I'll, just, I'll, I'll try harder to be more entertaining. <laughs> Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's bad, but see, this is the thing with quick saves. I've got to get by him, I think. Let's see what we got going on here. Did he get... <sighs> this motherfucker right here. I tell you what. Fine. God, it's so dark in here. I should turn the gamma up. A little bit, anyway. I'm only doing it for the... Yeah, there we go. I mean, that looks actually more realistic, to be honest with you. It's not so... It's not... Oh, hold on, I'll show you the, the maxed out gamma is about here. Which is still pretty good, but I mean, like, it's almost like these things aren't lighting anything. It's like the, it's like the lights are somehow not good lights. You need better light bulbs, friends. Like, look at that. Hold on. That doesn't look like it's lighting anything. Like, this is a flashlight. I mean, well, not flash. This is a light bulb meant to light this room, and it's not. Yeah, I can understand it not lighting down that way, but it's not lighting here, which I get is it's a horror thing, right? but it's not realistic, and that bothers me. So let's at least have it so that underneath the lights you have light. That's all I'm asking for. You know what? I'll give it a little bit more time. I can't see down there, so... I just have to keep doing this and be like... And... Is he back already? Fucking A. No, no. I'm dead again. Alright, well that means I need to go straight down this hall. Uh, there could be two of them, honestly. I might run into this motherfucker a second time. Feel like I'm okay to save there. Is there another monster down this ways? I can't see where the goddamn. Who's there? I don't know, Who's friend. There? closed doors what's here well that's not helpful which means I need to have well it fortunately I believe that's where I saved so I just need to if I die again I'll just take the intersection fuck this guy's probably coming who's there because he makes a circuit right way. I hear him to my right. Ah, door. Now, with any luck... love to get into that storage area, but I don't think I'm going to get an opportunity to. I'm just 
navigate and blind. Do I hear anything? No. Who's there? Quick saves. My superpower. And you know what? I think I need to go all the way back to the beginning. I think there's a second switch I'm going to have to hit. Pretty sure. There's a whole other, yeah, there's a whole other switch. Pretty sure. We'll know when we get down to the end of this hallway, though. Taking it slow. Fuck. That's exactly what I need right now. I'm not going to change anything. It's me. Nino. Who the hell is that? Ugh, fuck. It's the last thing you... Oh, he's fucking fast, too. God damn. Yeah, he's got me. Fuck. <laughs> uh, faster than I thought. The worst part about this is it doesn't kill you immediately. You get to play like for oh why well, you know what? I'll just wait till I wake up. See until he kills me. I'll keep playing. He's gonna kill me. He might kill me this time, he might kill me next time, but he's gonna Where is this? I hear him again, which means he's still here? Yeah, he's still here. What the, what the hell, man? Come on. What's wrong with you? I know you hunt based on, like, fear and all that stuff, so, you know, I'm not afraid of you. I ain't afraid of no ghost. There's something weird in your neighborhood. I think this is... Oh, crap. Yeah. I don't... I think... Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to jump off here, but... How do you... Uh... Ugh. There's nothing really to do other than jump off here. Oh, there you go. Hey, dude! Oh, you're heading towards me? <laughs> oh, you are getting closer? I can't tell if he's getting closer, but he's definitely moving. Look, I'm gonna say, <laughs> when I review this on Yelp, your little, ah, oh, great. Your little pocket dimension, not great. Yeah, you're not getting, you're getting a one star review on Yelp, I'm telling you right now. Partially decomposed. <laughs> anyway, that's it, I think. <laughs> we'll go ahead and call that. <laughs> Uh, let me know what you think of me playing SCP Containment Breach <laughs> on my channel. Uh, if you like it, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't like it, let me know as well. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. I do other kind of content on this channel as well. Uh, all SCP based. Uh, I talk about how to write. I talk about SCP lore, my own opinions about the entirety of the wiki. A variety of things. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to that. And head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and support me at any level. That'll be very helpful to ensuring that I can continue to make content for you. Thank you for letting me know I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.